Hello everyone, I am Suchirati of class 11. It's time to know about the story of a young boy named Taro who lived in the city of Ibaraki, Japan with his mother. Young Taro's mother was a very hard working woman. She loves her son so much and Taro is a very big fan of superheroes. One day, Taro's mother got a business trip opportunity which could even bring her promotion and this promotion would be helpful for her to take care of Taro too. So she couldn't miss this opportunity but all her worries were about Taro. She didn't want to leave him alone. She insisted him to stay at the neighbor's place. But young Taro wanted to show his braveriness to his mother. So he reassured her that he could stay alone and show his braveriness. Young Taro's mother was really proud of him. But at the same time, she didn't want to leave her son alone. But she had no other options. The next day, at the evening, Taro's mother left the home. After saying farewell to his mother, Taro went inside the home. He watched few horror movies and then had his dinner. After this, he went straight to his bed. But before sleeping, he read some of his favorite superhero stories. After reading, Taro was completely satisfied, so he fell asleep. But after some time, Taro heard a loud thud which came out of the blue. Taro was alarmed and he woke up. All those horror stories which he saw were traumatizing him. But he didn't want to take a notice of that sound. Instead, he closed his eyes tightly and went back to sleep as if it was his last time sleeping. But then, Taro heard footsteps coming upstairs. Taro had no other way rather than going and checking out what was happening. So Taro took a broomstick from his room and grabbed a torchlight. After that, he tiptoed out of his room and went near the place where the noise was coming. It was his mother's room. Toro slowly opened the door and it was completely dark. He immediately took his flashlight and flashed it towards the corner where a noise was arising. He saw a dark figure running towards him. He was stunned but he had no other way but to swing his stick to and fro. Taro remembered all the superhero stories that he read. He swung his broom to and fro again and again with a faster motion which hit a vase which fell on the figure. And then when he flashed it in the face, it was a thief. Taro kept swinging his broom. But since the thief was injured bad, he had no other way than pushing Taro aside and jumping out of the window. The neighbors, after hearing the window breaking noise, they knew that Taro's mother wasn't at home. They rushed immediately towards the door and broke the door. Then they rescued young Taro. After inquiring what happened, they were astonished. They immediately called the cops and the cops came and checked all over the house. It was completely safe. It was all because of the young Taro. The next day, after hearing the news, Taro's mother rushed towards the home and she she asked Toro what, what happened. She was even more prouder and she was a little regretting her decision. But then, by this we can know that courage is always one step ahead of fear. If you have courage, you can be anything. Thank you.